Okay, so let's uh, let's get rolling here this morning. So we have uh, three videos on the members download page: how to trade our dual trend filter. Yesterday I did a video how to um, trade the V top. We'll go over that again quickly uh, to recap it, and then uh, I want to go over how to trade momentum setups also. So let's first of all go over our trend filter. Let's recap that. What we have in the trading room, this is the S&P. We show the S&P in the live room. What we have is we have a trend filter, a what's called a dual trend filter. A dual trend filter, a double trend filter, it tells us which side of the market to stay on. So we do not want to counter trend trade the overall trend of the market. We want to look for retracements with overall trend direction. So what you'll do is you'll see green to red or red to green. So green, you're going to be a net, a look for net buying, meaning you're going to look for buy setups only when it's when the dual, dual trend filter is green, green. So this is green, green, where you have the our proprietary Rinko bar type inside of our existing zone trend filter. If it's setting higher lows, then we're looking for buy setups equals buy setups. You can tell that if you look at, let me get up one second. So if we have a higher lows inside of our existing trend filter, the market's in an uptrend. Let me get this a little larger for you to see. There we go. So green, green equals buy setups. All right, green, green buy setups. So right here, if you look, the market went from red, red to green, green. This is our standard zone trend. It's green. They run parallel to each other. That's green. And then if you look at our Sim Rico bar type that we put in, it's setting higher lows. So you're looking for buy setups. So green, green, you're looking for buy setups. Now there's two setups we look for. I'll go over that in a second. Let me go over short. What we look for shorts in a second. How we look for shorts or selling. All right, so green, green, looking for buys. You don't want to see higher lows on the trend filter. Don't make it difficult. There you go, green, green, buy setups. Once you get our Simrinko bar type that sets higher lows here, higher lows, these little dots, or lower highs like we're in a downtrend today. We just had a couple short sell setups a second ago. Once you see that, that those dots, turn green to red or red to green when they're on top of each other, you have what's called a transition phase or you're trying to do a trend change. So this is a transition phase or possible trend phase. Now we're looking to roll to the other side of the market. This is where you got to be very careful in trading because this is what's called a chop phase or a transition phase where the market's trying to change trend. All right, so that's your transition right when the first red dot fires off inside of a green trend filter. So this is a transition phase right when the first green and red come together. Now it's green red.
That's your transition phase. See, it's red, green. Green, green equals buy setups. We're looking for buy setups. And we'll go over how you enter these buy setups in a second. We're in a currently short position on two V tops right now. So then red, red equals short setups only because we didn't want to counter trend trade the market. We know counter trend traders tend to get wiped out of the market. Red, red equals short setups. So what we're doing, we're taking short setups with existing dual trend filter. Now our existing trend filter, like as members know, has been tested for the last 30 years on the S&P. And then our proprietary Rinko bar type is inside of that trend filter and it's setting lower highs right now so we're looking to short so this gives you a clear tone of the market right away the dual trend filter gets your mind right right away it also lets you know the transition phases when you need to lay off the shorts when you have green red or red green here's another one that's when the transition phase was that's transitioning to the other side of the market your bias is changing so if you look at the transition phase, that's the two areas where it went green, red, and red, green. That's where it's trying to trend change. You're not in hard trend. And this is green, red. So that phase is the rollover phase. We're looking for a transition on the move. Now, don't make this difficult. Green, green, buy setups. Red, red, short setups. If it's green, red on top of each other, then we do not want to have a bias. You're looking for a trend change. All right, this, let the algo do the work. This is a visual really neat visual tool how to trade the system so let's get into the setups in we have two setups that we want to look for yesterday i specifically went over the v bottom v top setup that's called our slingshot it's the same thing as our slingshot that we we traded for years but let me show you how we do this so what you're going to do when it's red red we'll go over this last setup these last two setups, when it's red, red, you're looking for short setups. There's two types of setups that we want to do then. The first setup is called a V-top. If it's in a downtrend, or V-bottom if it's green, green, and up to uptrend, so a V-top. What you're going to see, you see these yellow candles that fire off automatically. When these yellow candles fire off automatically on a retracement, these are your entry techniques. What you'll want to see is you want to see a yellow candle fire within three candles of this green hammer, green hammer up here, when the market's retracing. So the market will retrace. This is a retracement. This is where the counter trend traders are getting in the market. We're letting it market retrace. And then we are going opposite of the counter trend traders, We're letting it retrace. The entry bar will be the first yellow candle close that closes yellow candle within three candles. The count will start right after the hammer. You have to have it within three candles. So the count starts. There's your hammer. The count starts one candle, two candle, three candles. It happened on the first candle. This happened on the second candle. They're valid shorts. You'll just want to see it turn within that three candle after a hammer. You see the hammer? It looks like a doji. Open versus a close is the same. Open versus a close up there is the same. You'll see it turn. This is called a V top and a downtrend, red, red. It's one of our favorite setups in the room. 
Now I'm going to show you how we call this a, uh, how this could be a sweet spot trade where you're looking for this trade to crank and move. Right now, it's moving hard. Why? It's shooting out like a cannon off this V top because there's a special market structure that's holding off of our liquidity graph chart. I'll show you in a second. So that's 53.36 entry and as low as 53.24. It's moved to almost 12 points of potential on this V top. And then just after 8 o'clock is even earlier, 53.44 as low as 24. 44.24, 20 S&P point potential here from this entry after 8 o'clock, and then 10 point or 12 point S&P potential entry there. Now, because it's red, red, now this is called a V top and a downturn. It's one of our favorite setups with trend. Now, what you can do, there's a special uh, a confirmation chart called our liquidity grab chart. Now, a liquidity grab chart, if what's called market structure holds, you have a chance of a high probability uh, a shot at this being a big trade. A, you know, this is already a 12, 1 on 13 point runner. What happens on this liquidity grab chart is this. I have what's called a market structure sweet spot confirmation. What that does is that lets me know if these lower high dots are holding, if they are below these lower high dots, which you can see right here on both these retracements, it never closed more than two candles inside of my proprietary Rinko bar type that we created. This is our liquidity graph chart we show in the room. So if you notice, all these swings, market structure held. On short setups on these V tops, market structure held, did not close above it. Look at this next one. This next one's a big one, huge. Shot out like a cannon on this one. 36 and three quarters is the entry. It's now low as 20, over a 16 point potential move. So where's your entry? Your entry is going to be the close of that candle. Since it did not close above this market structure, here, 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 your entry is a close of this candle. That is your entry. Where's your hard stop if you're trading these setups? That's your entry, the close of the candle. This is called a sweet spot setup because it did not get into my dual trend filter. It's not closing inside of my dual trend filter. That's just a regular VTOP. This is called a sweet spot confirmation because both charts are confirming. It's called confluence. We have confluence that this market's going to try to crank lower. These, this is the best possible trade you're going to get with the algorithm. This is the best possible trade you're going to get with the algorithm when both charts confirm. You can just cherry pick these setups by waiting for both charts confirm with market structure. This is market structure, lower highs with a proprietary bar type, Brinko bar type. And then you can look for your sweet spot setups. Now your stops, let's go over your stops. Let me go over your last entry here. Your stops, this is a 20 Rinko bar type. So your stop is going to be initially right at this swing high. Some traders like to do a couple ticks outside of it in case of V tops and V bottoms. The market does like to do that once in a while. We get a V top, V bottom, and then she starts cranking lower. Right here is a lazy M. It did it right here. That's a lazy M top right here. It's a lazy M, and then she starts cranking. So some traders like to put a couple few ticks. That's fine. But your stop can, uh, to make it simple, can just be right outside of that Rinko size. Now what you can do is after the market's cranking to the downside, you can adjust your stop. And then after the second target hit, you can put it break even plus one and move it with the chart trader ATM. Your chart trader can do things automatically for you on that. Typically a lot of traders will wait for the first 
and second target, and then they'll go break even plus one, or first target, break even plus one. Totally up to you how you want to do that. But that's your specific entries. These are sweet spot confirmation. Liquidity grab structures down. Okay. So if you look at this next setup, as price retraces back up to this 53.27 and a half, that's your next market structure. So it's letting us know right now, as a leading indicator, if this structure holds, we have another sell setup coming up if this closes back to red candle. So that is called a sweet spot trade VTOP. You're holding my dual trend filters. You're not getting back inside of these dual trend filters. Okay. Where the market likes the possible trend change, it likes to get inside of market structure and starts closing back inside of here. That's when you get into a possible stop out. You've got to be very careful. If you're looking for just cherry picking sweet spot trades, in the market, that's your weakest setup to sell. Beautiful sell, sell set up at 819, 36 and three quarters, low is 19. There's another one, 53, 44 and a half, low is 19. All right, so that's a confirmation between these two charts. So I have them beside each other in the room. So you can see my V top, V top slingshots. You can visually see a holding market structure here as we go down. We're sitting lower highs, lower highs, holds. That held market structure. That's how held market structure on the charts. So I have these charts beside each other, right here and right here. So when it retraces, it's very simple to see. Visual trading tool, 815. You can see really easy. You have a big heads up. When that turns a green Rinko bar, the market's retracing back up. That's when the counter trend traders get caught. This is what's called a sell generating trade. If you know anything about order flow, you know that buy stops and sell stops have to be placed by these algorithms and traders or they're going to have unlimited loss, right? So what you have to do if you are looking or they have, they're going to have to cover their positions. So let's say they get long counter trend traders at this level. Their stops are going to be just below this level, these algorithms other counter trend traders. So what that causes is, is it causes the sell stops and buy stops to be hit. And what that is, that's our next setup in the trading room. Our next setup in the trading room, we like to take the first two trades after a V top or V bottom, is called our momentum setup. Now our momentum setup is standalone. You do not need that second liquidity chart for confirmation. It's strictly standalone trading. What happens after a V top, V top, start set up in the room, we have momentum that comes in the market. Why? Because all these counter trend traders that just took in this retracement are getting stopped out. So all these traders that trade the MAC or trade Fibonacci bottoms or Fibonacci tops or all these traders that trade pivot levels, PP, R1, R2, S1, all these different traders that think this is a bottom just got taken out of the market. All these traders here got taken out of the market. All these traders here got taken out of the market. A lot of these indicators that are free on NinjaTrader, TradeStation, uh, all these other different platforms, Thinkorswim, they're geared towards you counter trend trading the market, whether it be the MAC, you know, Stochastics, whatever it is, they're geared towards you. Moving average crossovers are geared to you to counter trend trade the market. So that's why our dual trend filter keeps us on the side of the market for V tops or if we're in a buy, V bottoms. But then what happens after V top, V bottom? These sell stops start hitting. So if you buy, if counter trend traders are buying, these sell stops are right below the V top entry. So what happens is the market gets speed. And when it gets speed, it's called our Momo trade or our zone break momentum setups. This is when we can capture speed in the market by doing our momentum setups. These momentum setups are very, very powerful because what they do is they're predicated on counter trend traders getting stopped out of the market. So if you notice my system that I created, I'm totally opposite of counter trend traders. 
we do not buy low and sell high in this room. We do not educate that way. We short low and cover lower. We short low on a VTOP and cover lower. We short low on a VTOP and cover lower. Where the counter trend traders are trying to buy low, and all these books and all these books in some of these rooms like to say buy this low off of a pivot level, off of a Fibonacci, strong Fibonacci confluence level, what have you. They're totally not trading market structure. Market structure is down. Red, red is down. Shorts. Look for VTOPs with confirmation. Look for to momentum trades that prey on these counter trend traders. All these indicators out there that come with all these trading platforms, we trade off of traders using those, thinking the market's going higher, when in reality, the market structure's down, it's going lower. So we're doing totally opposite of what the public likes to do. So they're countering the market. We're waiting for their stops to get in for momentum trades or VTOPs. And that's going to be a self-generating trade because their sell stops are going to start hitting. And then you're going to start seeing speed in the market. This is when the speed comes in. That's a self-generating trade. Speed comes in. Now, the yellow candle, when to take a momentum candle. So this is our second setup that we look for. Second setup. The, this process repeats. It's wash and rinse all day. Same setups. It's called our zone break Momo setup. I've called it for Momos for years. Just like we've called slingshot for years, same thing. VTOP's a slingshot. This is a Momo trade. We have not changed our setups at all. Same setups. Just easier verbiage for traders to understand what they are. So there's our setup. All right, so that's our VTOP slingshot. Slingshot, what a slingshot is, is just we're, we're getting a retracement, and it's going back down. That's our color, VTOP and a downtrend. Zone break momentum setups here. So this is our Momo setups. We've been to the same exact setups, but now the dual trend filter just helps traders recognize when to take these. And then our liquidity grab chart gives you confirmation of when a possible big runner could be happening. So that's Momo setups. Now, the best time to take Momo setups or momentum setups are after a VTOP. After a VTOP comes in, there's one specific criteria that you need. The market has to be what's called weak, okay, to short, or the market's got to be strong. I have an oscillator that's straight below our chart, an oscillator. That oscillator tells us if the market is weak or strong, if we can take the momentum trade. So that's my Momo setups right here. These are my Momo setups, both of them. If you look at the oscillator, it's pegged at negative 23.81. That lets me know that I can take momentum setups if this oscillator is pegged. Only with trend filter trend. This is our trend filter trend. So this is an entry and this is an entry. The best time to take momos, you got two shots for a nice runner. It's called the first and second shot at it. You'll get the first shot at it here after a VTOP, and then you get a second shot at it. I don't like taking momentum trades unless it's a first and second shot at it. The third and fourth and fifth and sixth, you should have a runner already in place. If you start taking these momentum setups after a VTOP, you're late in the tooth. You're late in the trade. Your risk of being stopped out increases. So we want to look for the first and second Momentum setup. Those are the best on a move after a VTOP. Don't make it any more difficult than that. There's your two setups. Your two setups are VTOP and a downtrend or a V bottom and an uptrend, and then momentum with confirmation of a weak or strong market. That's it. This process repeats on a daily basis. You're looking for VTOPs with dual market trend. Momentum with a week. You got to be down here. You have you have to. This is according to our trading rooms, our, our trading rules.
It's a weak market. Now, for some of you counter trend traders out there that still like to trade the market counter, you don't need to because you get so many setups of trend. We do have a failure trade that happens here. This is a failure trade where you have a yellow candle that goes against against overall trend trend zone. That's when the market likes to counter itself back up. That's when you see these counter moves like this that go back up. You don't need to take those. I have them in the room for you to see when the market's countering back up. Those are failure trades. They work out well on a transition phase if you want to do it that way. That's when failures work the best, when you're transitioning from one zone to the next. You know, failure trades, this failure trades a high probability trade because it's weak, the market's weak already down here. That's the best time to take a failure when it's red, green, green, red, but you have to go against the overall tone. That's our other setup we have in the room, but the two best trend trades you can stick with, with that should be the majority of, if not all your trade setups, V top and a downtrend, a zone break with momentum when the market's weak. All right, if you're doing, like I said, we're going to put this on the members download page. This is a great video for you to replay over and over and over again. Get your muscle memory right because this process repeats on a daily basis on any market. Okay. Now, when you get to the outer edge, which is doing right now, this is called an outer edge trade that's firing right now. But we're into the zone where it's green red. So if it's green red, if you look at it here at this level, this is not going to have, this is not going to be a sweet spot V top. Why? Because if I look over here at market structure, it broke higher, didn't it? So if you noticed on market structure where the sweet spot trades happen, my market structure, a price never gets into my dual zones. Never gets into it. So if you just want to cherry pick those trades by themselves and only look for those setups, you can do that. Where your stop outs are going to happen is when market structure doesn't confirm. If you notice, market structure here is getting strength, is strengthening. Now we're starting to strengthen. Why? Because price is now into market structure. We're not setting lower highs anymore, are we? So that's not a sweet spot trade. So this is what's called our outer edge. That's why the yellow candle is firing. It's an outer edge saying this is the last attempt of the market. This is the last attempt that the market has to continue lower. But if you want to stay out of transition phases, and, and this is where it gets choppy, the market gets choppy, you don't even want to trade these. Why? Because now it's red-green. See how it's red-green. What's red-green do? I just educated you guys. Red-green is the transition phase. The only setup you have on a red, green, or green, red is you have a chance at a failure trade here for a failure against trend on this push. Some traders will do that. It's the only shot you got. Right here, the transition phase. All right, it's a failure trade right there also before we start our uptrend. Right, but you're getting into, you're getting into the zones, right? So the momentum has dissipated. If you want to strictly trade with momentum, you go red, red, lower highs, and you want structure to hold on both charts to get these sweet spot trades. These are not small trades, guys. These potential trades have nice runner potential. I mean, these are 12, 20 S&P point runs today off of the V top and some of these momentum plays. So this is your momentum play. After V top, you get two shots at it. There's one. There's two. So we V top. There's an entry. Our liquidity grab chart confirmed it never broke into market structure. It's a short. There's a momentum play entry. Momentum play entry. Market's weak on our oscillator below. We V top again. That's a V-top. There's our V-top. Then we have two shots at it. Momentum, momentum. You don't want to take these momentum trades late in the tooth. You should have runners already in place on the first and second one after the V-top. 
Then we come back up. We have our failure trade. This is for counter trend traders. Can be very careful. Your failure trade is against trend. Here's a failure trade that's working right now because the, because you have a green red, right? So the failure trade entry is 28 and three quarters, was well, low as 25 now. But I wouldn't even take failure trades if it's green red. That's a transition phase. You get plenty of trend trades where it's red red green green. For traders with more experience. You can take the failure trade, which would be that entry right there at 854.13, because it's against trend. It's red, green, green, red. This is a transition phase. But if you want to stick with two with trend, it's V tops, which are called slingshots. We've done the same setup for years, same exact setup. I just made it easier for you visually to see with my dual trend filter. We've done the same setup for years, slingshot. We did the same momentum trade for year, years, same trade. How I made the system better is now I have a dual trend filter that will keep you out of transition or chop phase like right now. Now it's green red. It's transition phase. You don't even have to even trade this. Why? It's a transition where the market's trying to trend change to the upside. So what you can do is you can stay out of these phases. Stay out of this phase. This is the biggest upgrade that we had with the system. Stay out of this phase, transition phase. Stay out of this phase, transition phase. Stay out of this phase, transition phase. Because you're going you're gonna to go right back into the wash and repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Same cycle every single day on every single market. We we'll go right back into the V tops, slingshot pages. I mean the slingshots, V tops, V bottoms, and the momentum trades. Same setups every single day. Same two setups over and over and over again. We do have the failure trade against trend. If you're in the transition phase, that's a failure it's in right now. These are both failure trades, that one and this one. But that's if you are more advanced and you want to scalp the market, you can do those. But why even do that? So I've always had three setups in the trading room. Slingshot, Momo trade, failure trade. They all show up on this chart. Right, we've done the same setup for years and years and years and years. Same three setups. I've made it visually very, very simple now for traders. I can show you exactly where you have a high probability of being stopped out in the transition phase. Right there. Now I can show you visually where you're probably going to get stopped out at on, on getting against the overall market trend. It's when it's red, green, or green, red. Red, green, green, red. Red, green, green, red. That is a stop out phase or a chop phase, right? Chop phase. Then right when we start trending again, we start setting lower highs, red, red. We look for V top slingshots. And we can look for the first and second shot at a momentum trade if it confirms with a weak or strong market. All right. This is on the members download page, guys. Replay this video. This is the same cycle that repeats on any market, any futures, on a day-to-day -day basis, week-to-week -week basis. I don't care what it is, what market it is, it's the same exact cycle setup. You have a V top, V bottom. You have a momentum after the V top, V bottom, two shots at it. You have a failure trade, which I won't list because I don't like you guys counter trend trading the market. There's too many opportunities. But that's a failure trade. A failure just means you're going against trend zone trend when these yellow candles come up against trend. That's a counter move. This is a counter move. Some of you like scalping it. Counter move, counter move here, counter move there. You know, I leave it on there because to each its own, right? I, I like to educate with the two trend the best. If you're a new trader, look at V tops and then right after the first two momos. I mean if you're more if you get more savvy in, in trading, then you can look for these uh, failure trades, but no need to even do it. Okay, and that's how we do it. Just remember, before I close this off, you want to confirm it over here. Confirm it on your liquidity grab chart. Your liquidity grab chart will tell you the sweet spot of the market. Now, these yellow candles that come up on the liquidity grab chart, what's the best time to take those? You see these yellow candles? Because these yellow candles come up because 
market structure has broken in the past right here. So this low broke. This low broke. That's why this candle fired. If you're going to take liquidity grab, market structure, liquidity grab shorts, here, this yellow candle comes up. You enter here. This is a strict V-top slingshot short. Enter at the candle with close. Stop up here. If you want to enter this level here, you can use a hard 15 tick stop on it if these yellow candles come up. The best time to take those is after you come out of a V top or V bottom. Let me explain this again. The best time to take those is coming out of a V top or V bottom. If you see these come up, that's the best time to take those setups when you're coming out of a V top or V bottom. All right, just remember when you get inside a price like this, the market is in a chop phase. Okay, like right now, we're in a chop phase. We're not trending right now, are we? We're not trending on this liquidity grab chart, are we? Why? Well, my oscillator tells us right here, not my oscillator, my dual trend filters, green, red, red, green. Look how easy it is to see price action now. Very, very simple. Don't make it difficult. Red, red, short. Green, green, buy. Look for V bottoms. So here, we'll look for V bottoms. Here. Here, here, here. So you're looking for V bottoms on the way up. Higher low, green, green, buy, red, red, sell. If it's green, red on top of each other, or red, green, that's usually a stop out phase. You'll see the market do a failure trade. It will counter move itself. I've got the total rhythm of the market down with three setups, two with trend, one against trend. Now visually, we can see this on a daily basis. Don't make it any more difficult than that. Right now, we're in a chop phase. Chop phase, we're trying to get out of it, out of this chop phase. Now I have a chart, before I shut this off, I have a chart above that called my one, my one, one fifty. What's my one, one fifty? We do, you can automate this with the micros, had a big day yesterday on the micros. But you can use this for automation. I go over this in the PDF how to do that. But I use it for visual representation of what? Of where they're grabbing liquidity. So the smart money, what they do, if I look at this chart, let's look at this chart. Yesterday, if you looked at this chart all day, if you were not a net buyer all day yesterday, then you're on the wrong side of the market on the S&P. You're totally wrong. Because what you're doing is, is these big dips in the market here, these are liquidity grabs. That's where the market, I, 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 what I did is I optimized these rink, uni rico bars. And I found out that I can find out where these big liquidity grabs in the market are. So that lets me know the overall trend of the market. So what you can do, you can use this chart visually as what? You can use it to see when the market's grabbing liquidity for overall trend direction. So all day long, since midnight all the way to 4 o'clock, you should have been looking for what? V bottoms. V bottoms, and then also Momo trace to the upside with the overall push. Today, when did it roll over? It rolled over today at 8.20 in the morning. So we got a hard push down. Now the bias is hard push down. We have a hard bias push down. You can see a market drives itself when that drives itself when that happens. So you can use that upper chart to get your bias also. It just gives you a trend bias for the overall market for the entire trading day. And you can see when they're trying to grab liquidity. Okay, so it lets you know that the overall push is down since this morning. Now, right now, we're in chop. So we'll wait till we get out of chop, get back to trend, we'll go back to work. 